what is snow in terms of this video snow is the steganographic nature of white space it is a tool that allows us to hide a secret message in a text file a lot of people think you can't hide something in an ascii text file but using this tool which is pretty old but it still works we can actually hide a secret message in a simple text file just a quick fact, it also uses the ICE encryption algorithm, so snow and ice are consistent. I'll put the link to this tool beneath the video, and we're gonna do a demonstration in the video though. So I've already downloaded snow. It is a command line tool, but it comes with a Word document when you unzip the, the file. So when you unzip snow, it has the executable, which is right here snow.exe what you download is snw-dos32.zip it extracts snow.exe and snow.doc this is snow.doc which is the syntax right now i have a file called kitler.txt which is basically a snippet of the facts or faqs from cats that look like hitler.com i have that in a text file I'm going to hide a secret message in that text file and call it kitler2.txt. Before we do anything to the kitler text file, we'll go ahead and open it up and take a look at it. So here it is. I'm opening it up with Notepad. It's the frequently asked questions, and this is what's here. We're going to embed a secret message inside of this text file using steganography and the tool snow and the whole idea is our secret message will not be detectable uh, because that's the whole point of using steganography it's going to be hidden in plain sight so what you need is a text file to hide something in so the command i'm going to use is over here in the word document you can use this as some guidance so we're going to do this command right here which is snow-c-m is the message I want to hide, and dash p is the password for the encryption. So let's go over here, snow-c-m, the message I'm gonna say is attack the dogs tomorrow at 9 a.m., bang. And then I'm gonna put a password in here, We'll just put the password dash P. We'll use little bub as the password. The in file is the file that is the carrier file, the file you're going to hide the message in. So this will be kitler.txt. The out file, as we see over here, the out file is the file that has the hidden message in it. This will be kitler2.txt legal option I need to put the capital C there sorry about that and it said that it worked in this case so let's take a look at the file now now we have Kittler which is the original file and Kittler 2 which is the file with a hidden message so let's go ahead and open Kittler 2 which is right here to see if we can find the hidden message here's Kittler 2 here's Kittler so there's a little bit of difference we can see. Uh, and the difference is this, these spaces right here. It looks like there's some more uh, spaces between the paragraphs for this Kittler 2 versus the normal Kittler. And this is really what Snow does. It embeds your hidden message in the white space, which is why it's called Snow, of a text file. It uses steganography, so unless you know where to look or how to reveal the hidden message, you can't really detect it. So in here, our message we put was attack the dogs tomorrow at 9 a.m. In Kittler 2, if I do a control F to find, let's see if I can find attack. There is no instances of attack. Let's see if I can find dogs. There are no instances of dogs. So it looks like the message is not 
easily detectable in here because again, it's hidden in plain sight. Now let's check to see if we can extract the hidden message. It's one thing to be able to hide a message in something, but if I were to pass this text file along to somebody else uh, that I want to communicate with secretly, I need for them to be able to extract the message. Go ahead and close both of these here. The way to extract it is, let me open the command prompt again, is right over here. Again, in our Word document, we have the snow-c, the password, and the out file. The out file will be Kittler2. So snow-c-password, in this case, I use little bub, and the out file was kittler2.txt. If this works, it should display the hidden message here in the window. Oh, I'm in the wrong directory, so that didn't work. So let me go to the snow directory. And let me try that again. All right, so there's the message. It extracted the message, attack the dogs tomorrow at 9 a.m. from that text file. This was just a quick demonstration of steganography using a tool called Snow, which allows us to hide a secret message in a text file. I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration of steganography. Please like the video, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Talk to you later.